a jack in a box. Oh, I used another large fry. <laughs> Interview. Ask me more questions. Hi, mister. How do you make your money? I consider myself a role model, but then at the same time, I don't think anybody wakes up in the morning and wants to be a role model. You think I'm violent, but listen, and you will find my lethal weapon's my mind. I think the key to using me as a role model is make sure you use me, not the characters I play in my record. If you pick Ice T, you're gonna pick somebody who started out at the bottom and is now doing his best to bring himself up with his friends. If you pick the new Jack Hustler, you're gonna end up dead. You see what I'm saying? So if you pick the right person, hell yeah, I'm a damn good role model. I made a promise to my brothers in street crime. We get paid with the use of a sweet rhyme. We put our minds together, made the tracks clever. Now we're checking more banks than ever, mind over matter. I was born in Newark, New Jersey. Yeah. My uh, mother died when I was yeah. in the third grade. My father passed when I was in the yeah. seventh grade. And I was shipped to Los yeah. Angeles to live with my aunt. Yeah! 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 Gang membership was the first place I ever yeah. found love. Nobody was saying love in my house. Yeah. But I lived with nothing but people who said, I gotta take care of you because yeah. I gotta. When I got in the gang, that's when yeah. my boy said, I love you, man. A dude yeah. told me that. First person ever said it to me was yeah. a dude. It was like, yo, don't yeah. sweat it, homie. And that, that's something you can't yeah. get rid of forever. In LA, right? You got the two major gangs, right? You got Crips and Blood. Color, 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 color. A Crip color, wears blue. Color. This is his color. I don't know. Now, to ask me where this color came from, I don't know. This is before my time. But all I know, Crips always wore blue. Bloods always wear red. Wear the wrong color, your life could end. The Crips will speak to you as cuz. What's up, cuz? What's up, cuz? A blood will refer to you as blood. What's up, blood? You know, but it's nothing new. It's something you grow up with. You learn what neighborhood you live in. You learn what, you know, color is controlling this area. And that's how you dress. You just have to deal with it. While I was going to Crenshaw, I was involved with the gang scene. Pretty thick, all my friends was banging. And uh, I got out of high school, got off into uh, more of the crime scene. Stole cars, robbed jewelry stores, just everything you possibly think. I wasn't a very big on uh, selling drugs, although a lot of my friends were drug dealers, but uh, I was more into just getting money quick, straightforward. You know, I was more of, I would rather jack a drug dealer than actually sell a dope. My friends addicted to cocaine. I don't drink, smoke, or get high at all because um, no one could ever tell me any benefit to it. I went into the military after I had gotten my girlfriend pregnant and we had a baby. I really wasn't moving toward anything, you know, I wasn't finding myself being totally responsible. I was out in the streets with my boys doing small time hustling licks. So I went to this enlistment place on Crenshaw Boulevard, I'd always been seeing it. I just walked in there and I kind of was like, just give me the uniform. I was in the army and I heard um, a song by Sugar Hill Gang, Rapper's Delight. And I said, whoa, you no. Know, I can do that. What you hear is not a test. I'm rapping to the beat. And me, the groove, and my friends are gonna try to move your feet. I tried to say street rhymes that uh, I picked up over the B side of Rapper's Delight, which was an instrumental. Well, I didn't think you would ever get money out of it. I didn't think it was something you could get money out of. I just thought it was something to do. And I wanted to be able to do it when I got home. But when I came back to the streets, all my friends were now more high echelon criminals. You know, the guys I knew that were selling a bag of weed were now selling pounds of it. And it just, it was amplified. And my friends that were stealing cars were now robbing the entire store. If you're clicking with those people and you don't know anybody who's got a job, that's where you're going to end up. What's up? You want your feet in some concrete? I got some brothers that'll do you for your gold teeth. Picked up rap just out of just being a slick talker and um, from making old gang slogans and stuff and uh, was very fortunate that uh, I was in a club when a movie called Breaking came in 
and uh, they asked me would I be in their film. This club was called The Radio, and a lot of people would come in there. So the night the, the movie people came in there, I was not really impressed. But my boys were like saying, Ice, man, go on and be in this movie, man. You got a chance. Do this. And I did the movie. I wasn't no great rapper. People seen the movie. I wasn't saying no incredible stuff because I wasn't no rapper, you know? But I, I did it. You people came to party and you want to do it right. You got to rock and shock this spot. So, good luck to the group tonight. The Breakout album sold in the millions of records. I don't know exactly how many millions. That was when I realized, yo, you could make some money in this. And I am the Ice. After that record, I attempted to rhyme like New York, because I thought that's what I had to do. Because New York people rap about partying. See, there was a hip hop scene here, so they rap about rocking the house. At the fever, you know, hey, throw your hands in the air. You know, when I said throw my hands in the air, I meant it, you know what I'm saying? Throw your hands in the air and get flat. But I tried to do it. I tried, my boys was like, Ice, you ain't rapping at no parties, man. Kick that stuff about us. And I was like, nobody wants to hear that. But what I was unaware of was how many kids were living the same lifestyle I was. And we made this record called Six in the Morning. Six in the morning, police at my door. I did Six in the Morning as a B-side. That turned out to become my identity. Big search, I caught their day was made. Found an Uzi 44 and a hand grenade. Threw us in the county high-powered block. No I didn't realize how different it was, but... When I look back on it, I realize that was the first time anybody ever said that they had a gun. They ran from the police. They were incarcerated. It was totally different than the previous rap records. Yeah, that's it. OG, original gangster. 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 Like it, you can kiss my. made the first record with no video and no real push because nobody knew how to push rap. The album sold a half a million records and there we just went on. Well, somebody called it gangster style. They called it, this is a gangster rap. In the streets, gangsters have a little harder edge to the way they handle the stuff and the players always had a little finesse. I had elevated from being a gangster to a player, so when they called me a gangster, it was like they pushed me back a notch. I know you're loving this drug as it's coming out your speakers. Bass through the bottoms, as high as through the tweeters. But this bass, you don't need a pipe, just a tempo to keep your height. We didn't really, um, think we were going to make it past the first album, but now we're gaining momentum. People like us. Professional liar. Schoolboy admire. Young girl desire. Very few live to retire. High rollers. Done high rollers. We just wanted to show people just how glamorous that life is, you know? And so the whole video was set up to say, yeah, you, I, mean, I want kids to look at it and say, man, that's what I want to be. That's what I want to be. Doesn't that look cool? Doesn't that look cool? But the end of the video is when all of a sudden there's these people that come in. And I wanted to make sure you wouldn't know whether they were the cops, whether they were the robbers, who were they? And, and that's the whole idea of Ice-T music. It's not to say it's wrong. It's just to say, well, this is how it is. Now, do you want to play? And I ain't got no reason to lie to you. I speak on what I know. I speak on topics that are real because, like I'm saying, I got to come back here. If I were to make a record saying, you selling dope, you a sucker, you sell, you a banger, you a fool, I'm going to get took out. My life is violent, but violent is life. Peace is a dream, reality is a night. They said they were going to do a movie about gangs called Colors. Dennis Hopper wanted to shoot the movie in L.A. They wanted to shoot it in Chicago. He sat down at Orion Pictures and said, I would like to shoot this movie in L.A. And they all looked at him and said, we have gangs in Los Angeles? But people don't understand the size of this. This ain't no joke, man. This is real. I was excited. I wanted to be in it. They said the movie is done. So I made the song Colors and we just, check this out. And they went crazy over it. My homeboy got jacked, my mother's on crack. My sister can't work cause her arms show trash. <laughs> I 
Iceberg is a self-titled album. Instead of making an album calling it Ice T, I call it The Iceberg. When I was banging, I, they used to call me Crazy Trey. You know what I'm saying? Because my first letter, my first name is T. But then I started reading these books by Iceberg Slims and Donald Goins. And I would go to school and quote words from the books. Hustler toasts, they're like rhymes. And the girls and the guys would say, yo, man, say some more of that ice stuff, T. And then my buddies just start calling me Iceberg. And so that's what Ice T came from, Iceberg T. After Power, I ran into a lot more censors. Um, people were mad at the album cover. I had dealt with all these women dealing with sexism. Oh, you're sexist. Yeah. I want to know how you can conscientiously make calls for a racial unity when you continue to insult more than 50% of the world's population with your sexist comments. I am not making records attempting to hurt. You have never heard me say, I will hurt a woman, rape a woman, or beat. But you beat. insult women. Now what is that, that an insult? Ice-T albums are one statement. Each album has a statement to be made. And that album is freedom of speech. Just watch what you say. All my acting experience came with a flashlight in my face, like this. Well, where are you? Where, what's your name? Uh, uh, H-U-S-T-L-E-R, Hustler. New Jack City was my first movie. New, 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 new Jack. They said, we want you to play this part. It's a gangster movie. I'm like, yeah, it's going to be cool. I'm like, a lot of shooting? Mm-hmm. Money? Yeah. I get to dress fly? Yeah. So I'm who? Yeah, cop. Huh? A cop? What are y'all trying to do to me, man? I hate the police. If you lost your mind. Yeah! Duck from the gunshot and watch for the ricochet. Ricochet with Denzel Washington. Yeah. I get to play a bad guy. So yeah. life's perfect. Took a lot of balls for you to come here, PK. Let's hope you leave here with him. I know you ain't gonna change. But don't cheat these kids out of their future, man. You got that? No, I don't got that. So it's like that, huh? Yeah, it's like that. It was cool working with Denzel on, yeah. because I respect him. He won the Academy Award. And for them to have the courage to put me and him together, that made me feel good. With the boom, ping, ping, it ain't no thing to blast. I'm greedy little suckers that trespass. The movie Trespass will determine whether I really have star power or not. This is the first movie you're going to see where it's like Ice T, the first name. Your head is a pile of pus. I'm kicking up much dust. The brother you can't trust. The movie was called Looters, and we had to change it. The reason they changed the movie from Looters to Trespass is because they didn't want people going into the movie thinking it was about the riot. I escaped from the killing field. Forget the man-made law. Let's talk about human right. Beat a dog, you would have went to jail the way they beat Rodney King. Every last one of them cops on that street should go to jail. If I was in a bar room and a woman got raped, they put everybody in jail for the rape that stood around and watched it. The man's got a surefire system. An economic prison. Why? Gotta get out. You gotta get out. Why? Because the fields are where you die. OG, original gangster. I think this album is better than all three of my albums put together. We cut and cut and cut, and when we finished, we had 24 complete songs. What's up now, chump? You start to choke up. You try to move on the ice, you'll get broke up. Yeah. Body Count was made up of my friends, uh, the guys that played live instruments on my album. My intention with this group was to make a rock group that had the attack and energy of a punk group, the speed of a thrash group, the condemning, impending doom sound of something like Sabbath, or old Blue Oyster Cult, or stuff like that. We started gigging around L.A., and we got banned from L.A. real quick. That meant we were good. I said, oh, man, that's be good, because they won't let us play around here. Police groups across the country, the President of the United States, 60 members of Congress, leading religious and media figures have condemned uh, the Body Count album. Yo, next we're going to talk about trouble, and I'm talking about real trouble. This is the part you've been waiting for. Don't go nowhere. Yeah. Revolution will be televised! Oh. MTV's Strong Medicine, Mrs. Nelson. We'll cut Buddy's dose in half. 
But I love my MTV. Well, I love my thermometer, but I take it out once in a while. Oh, doctor. MTV, your daily source for pep. Use only as directed. MTV's Rockumentary is brought to you by Foot Locker's Ultimate Outdoor Basketball Collection, Foot Locker, where court is always in session, and by Gatorade for that deep down body thirst. Court is now in session. What's the charge? That Foot Locker's got the Ultimate Outdoor Basketball Collection. What's their evidence? The Nike Air Raid, the Reebok Boulevard Blacktop, the Pila Cage, and the Converse Tall Max. Does the defense rent? <laughs> you think you're tough, don't you? <laughs> yeah. You have the Rodney King incident. You have the uprising. You've got all this tension aimed at the police. Hostile. People are starting to look at them very heavily. <laughs> God Killer was a song that was just made out of a whim. I was sitting in the studio, well, in the rehearsal hall with my group, and I was singing Psycho Killer with my talking head. And my drummer was like, man, they need a cop killer. But he said it almost like he'd be a superhero, like we need a cop killer right now to kill some of these scandalous cops. The reason you, I had to write the song Cop Killer is because cops need to know that we're not just gonna be slaves and just be whooped on and beat on by somebody holding a badge over their head. And when we would play it at the show, that was the record everybody went crazy on. So why would you throw that record out? Obviously, you've touched something that, that was inside of some people. So we went out on Lollapalooza. We performed Cop Killer for an entire year. Now, when the cops made their move, they were smart enough not to attack me. They attacked the record label. They attacked Warner Brothers. Obviously, the government can't censure Ice-T. But why would a company like Time Warner support that? You got kids starving in Somalia. You got cops really killing kids on the streets. You got a real supposed election going on. And, they, and I'm headline news. I'm like, this is a record. Freedom of speech does not cover yelling fire in a crowded theater. Uh, body count does an awful lot more than yell fire. It celebrates the murder of, of a police officers. You know, Charlton Heston is somebody who they could bring out and use in this issue, and people somehow, because he was in a movie, believe he's Moses. He also is a member of the NRA who lobbies to keep a bullet called the cop killer legal, the one that's a Teflon 9 bullet that can rip through a, a police uh, bulletproof vest. That should be legal. I don't know why. Here's the some of the lyrics on killer cop, cop killer. I got my brain on hype. Tonight will be your night. Die, 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 pig, die. F the police. I know your family's grieving. Catchy little number, isn't it? I started worrying about my group being pigeonholed as the cop killer group. I didn't want that to happen. I pulled a record. So really what I'm saying is, songs off the record, shut up. All right? That's what I'm saying. I'm not apologizing to him. Because if you think this album is something, you wait on my next album. This is Home Invasion. Home Invasion. Cop Killer dies. I pulled a record. Everything's cool. OK, Ice, let's go do your new album. Warner Brothers Records was ready to put the album out. They had the album ready. It's packaged. By it being in this stage, I mean it made it through every Warner record executive. It was good to go, unedited. And out of nowhere, somebody calls up and says, the album cover. And I look at the album cover again, and I said, you know what, there's no police on this album cover. I thought they were worrying about cops. What are they worrying about now? Are they worrying about everything? I just wrote them a letter. I said, you're asking me to jeopardize my integrity, and once my integrity's gone, I get spit on when I walk down the street. You can't ask me to do that, and I won't do that. Why don't you just let me go? It's nothing personal, it's just business, you know? So we split up, they gave me my record back. It's the first summer I can really say. 
I felt cool. We all chill. Went to the park and nobody got killed. If you take rec what a record label is to the street level, a record label is a pimp. When they find you on the streets with your demo tapes, they give you a budget. If they were a pimp, they'd give you a rabbit coat and a bathing suit. When they put you on the street, that's when they put your records in the racks. When you go to a show, they're saying, break yourself, baby, dance, shake it, shake it. This is the same way a pimp will treat a prostitute. I understand that I'm a hoe. I work for, I was working for Time Warner, and I was a damn good hoe. I made them a lot of good money. At this point now, I'm running my own label. I am pimping myself. Woke up the other morning, I heard a rumor. They said the gang wars was over. I told them they were straight tripping. They said it's real as hell. Can't explain the way I felt. The God of Love is a record that um, I made it because when I heard that there was a gang truce, it just hit me because I've been so anti-gang banging, gang violence for so long, I couldn't believe it. This unity is getting to me. Every brother on the street is my homie. I'm rolling through a hood that I've never been, and every brother steps to me as a friend. I want to see the brothers stay alive. Just stop killing each other to keep the sets there. Everybody's still in the gang. We just ain't what they call set tripping. You know, you see somebody else, you give it up, you tell them what set you're from, cool, but you just don't have no drama. It's not like I'm going to kill you because I see you in another color. L.A. is where I'm speaking of. Peace to my city. Because I got a lot of love. We can do this. Where am I going to be in five years? Hopefully just alive. Up next, some call it Looney Tunes on Acid, others just scratch their heads. Stay tuned for the hybrid animation of MTV's liquid television and realize if it made sense, it wouldn't be MTV.